Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, for the last seven years, I've been the, on the uh, Alaska County Environmental Protection Advisory Committee, and although we, have, we haven't had a chance to discuss the toll road yet, so I can't speak for them, but uh, on my own behalf, um, what I did, I looked, took a look at the map that were being proposed, the corridors that were being proposed by them, and I wanted to see what effect they would have on Alachua County. And <laughs> the effect to me was somewhat astonishing. Uh, the corridors impacted in Alachua County alone, and I invite you all to look you know, for what it does to your counties. Um, uh, Baines Prairie Preserve it goes through two places, uh, two different uh, the corridors affect that or impact that. One through Bar Hammock Preserve. And these preserves, by the way, are, you know, when they were when they were first created, they were meant to last forever. They weren't meant to be, you know, broken apart. They weren't meant to put highways through. They weren't meant to be developed in part of them or changed in any way. They were meant to be for all time to stay the way they were. Um, the reason being that we need our natural areas for processing water uh, to keep it clean and quite frankly just because we get our breathing air from there as well, our oxygen from them. Uh, so additionally, Lake Kanapaha, which everyone you know around Gaines will tell you is a very much beloved area, um, as well as Split Rock Conservation Area, uh, which is just to the north of it. Uh, the two of them together are actually where the, the water comes from Hogtown Creek in Gainesville, and uh, where it goes down into the Hale Sink. And that area around it that they're talking about running you know, the highway through, essentially it's right next to where uh, uh, 90, or 75 is right now, um, is... Uh, the area where, you know, it's is, is really where the water is clean before it goes into the aquifer. So if we want to keep that, we need to keep, you know, we need to keep that area clean. Uh, in addition, Sugar, Sugar Fit Prairie Conservation Area in Gainesville, Clear Lake Nat Nature Park in Gainesville, San Pelasco Hammock Preserve, another preserve, which is a state park, I believe, Dudley Farm Histor uh, Historic State Park, and Alino State Park, which of course is where the Santa Fe River both goes down into a swallow and comes back up in River Rise. Um, I'll cut it short at this point in time in that I want to say that, you know, we need to watch, you know, what we do to any of these specific uh, areas, our, 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 uh, our natural areas. We need to protect them with everything we've got. We shouldn't be letting go of one little bit. Um, in, 19, in 2015, uh, Lodge County Impact had a, uh, a meeting. We had a number of experts from the University of Florida testify for us and, and, the, and the community at large. And their statement to me was that we could not afford to lose any more of our wetlands and natural areas, thank you, um, at all. And uh, so I'm taking that very seriously. We cannot afford to lose any of these natural lands that I've read tonight, or any of the other ones we've got. We need to protect them with all we've got, or there isn't going to be a 100th uh, year for, you know, for this uh, council. Um, that said, I very much uh, uh, like to congratulate you on making it 50 years, and thank you very, very much for your service. Thank you. Thank you.